हेलो आई शशिभूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम विच कैन बी कॉल्ड एज ए जनरल फिजिक्स प्रॉब्लम यस इवन इफ यू हैव जस्ट मूव टू क्लास इलेवेंथ यू शुड बी अटेम्प्टिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड नो डाउट ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ जेई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स शुड डेफिनेटली गिव इट अ ट्राई सो आई एम नॉट टैगिंग a chapter name to this question it is a question in general physics and all of you should give it a try we are basically going to explore whether increasing the number of boatmen increasing the number of rowers is going to significantly affect the top speed of a boat or not of course the problem has its own assumptions under those assumptions we will try to figure out if increasing the number of boatmen is truly going to affect the speed of the boat and if at all by how much so let us first of all read the statement of the problem the problem goes like this assume that a light fast moving rowboat experiences a resistance force on it equal to k v square a where v is the speed of the boat and a is the submerged vertical cross sectional area of the boat uh, k is a constant of suitable dimension a boat designed for n rowers has a length proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3 the rowers have good physical health and top power a rower can deliver is nearly same for all the top speed v not of a rowboat depends on n raised to the power x what is the value of x so basically we have to figure out how does the top speed of the boat depend on number of boatmen uh many of you would like to pause at this juncture and give it a try on your own uh though the statement of the question might require a little bit of clarification to some of you so let me give some hint or some explanation uh, of this question first of all the first and foremost keyword in the question is that the boat itself is light that means weight of the boat is negligible as compared to the weight of the people riding it so we have to ignore the weight of the boat in context of this question then it experiences a resistance force a drag force that is proportional to square of its speed this looks reasonable and it is also proportional to a where a is the submerged vertical cross sectional area of the boat of course if this is the boat you take it as a boat going this way then the submerged vertical cross section you slice the boat like this and you see this cross section not the entire cross sectional area only that area which is submerged of course vertical cross section can also mean a cross section like this but i hope all of you understand that this area will not have that much of significance as far as resistance force is concerned uh, rather this area should be taken into account so uh, this much of imagination is required in understanding the question and v is the speed of course <clears throat> and the other thing says the other statement important statement is when a boat is designed for n people its length is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3 so if you have a boat which is suitable for let us say 6 people its length is l but if you design a boat that is suitable for maybe 10 people then it will have a longer length this is what the question says and the length is proportional to number of people riding the boat raise to the power 1 by 3 so with this much of explanation now i think each one of you watching this video should give it a try here i am proceeding with my solution just to uh, clarify it a bit more let me draw a cross section uh, let me draw a boat in fact let us say this is a boat no boat looks like this right but okay to explain you the question this shape is quite good so this is the boat let us say it is rowing like this 
and this is the water this is water so the area a that the question is talking about is actually this area this is the cross sectional area of the vertical section of the submerged part right and of course length of the boat means this length first and foremost thing according to archimedes principle the buoyancy force is proportional to volume of the submerged part right it is proportional to volume of displaced water and volume of displaced water is nothing but volume of the submerged part of the boat in this diagram this is the volume of the submerged part this whole volume so this is the volume of water displaced and the buoyancy force that the boat will experience is proportional to volume volume capital v volume of the submerged part of the boat and this buoyancy force balances the weight of the boat and the weight of the boat is proportional to number of people riding it because boat itself is almost massless so uh, if there are n people each having mass m then obviously the weight is proportional to n it has not been given in the question explicitly that each and every boatman has same mass but okay that has to be assumed so weight of the entire boat plus boatman is proportional to number of people riding it this weight force is balanced by buoyancy force and buoyancy force is proportional to volume of submerged part what does it mean overall it means that volume of submerged part is proportional to number of people riding it so as the number of people increases volume of submerged part will also increase now volume of the submerged part obviously can be written as this cross sectional area cross section of the submerged part into this length so volume is cross sectional area into length which is proportional to number of people riding it but according to the question length of the boat has to be increased if number of people riding it has increased so the length of the boat itself is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3 so i am not I'm not writing the constants i am just writing the proportionality so a represents the area cross sectional area which is submerged length is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3 right which simply means that this area this area is proportional to n raised to the power 2 by 3 so as the number of boatmen is increased obviously this area that is submerged will also increase it will change in proportion to n raised to the power 2 by 3 right now let us come to the power let us say each and every boatman delivers power p not power is rate of doing work joule per second watt so if each and every boatman delivers power p not and n boatmen are riding the boat each of them delivering power p not the total power being delivered is n p not in a way these boatmen are nothing but engine of the boat isn't it so their muscle power is being used to row the boat initially let us think that boat starts from rest initially when the boat is moving slowly and these boatmen are exerting the entire top power n p not speed of boat will increase why because the rate at which boatmen are working is much larger than the negative work done by the drag force drag force depends on the speed of the boat the speed is small so the drag force itself is small so the drag force is not doing a lot of work actually negative work it is doing negative work but rate of work done has a small magnitude whereas these people are doing work at a much higher rate so overall the kinetic energy of the boat will increase but as the speed increases the drag force increases because drag force is proportional to v square so very soon a situation will arise when the 
negative rate of work done by the drag force will be equal to positive rate of work done by the boatmen. Boatmen are performing work at this rate. When this becomes equal to the magnitude of rate of work done by the drag force, obviously after that kinetic energy of the boat cannot increase because net rate of work being done on the boat will become zero. Uh, all the boatmen together are spending 250 watt of power and the resistive force is eating away 250 joule of energy per second. So in that, after that, the boat will acquire a constant speed. That will be the top speed of the boat. So when the boat is moving at top speed, this is the power spent by the people who are riding it and the drag force is eating away that energy. According to the question, drag force is proportional to V square A. Forget about the constant K. So I'll just write, Acha, okay, I'll write the constant. K V square A. This is the drag force. Power of this drag force, force multiplied by velocity. I hope you all understand this. Actually, power of the drag force is negative, but that is what we are saying. That work done, positive rate of work done by boatmen plus negative rate of work done by drag force. If you add these two, it becomes zero. That means no work is being done and the, there is no change in kinetic energy. So magnitude wise, both the powers are equal. Let us worry about magnitude only. Now, as per our discussion a moment ago, we know that this area A changes as n raised to the power 2 by 3. So it means n p naught, again I will write, oh, oh. I will write the proportionality only, okay. n p naught will be proportional to, will be proportional to v raised to the power 3 and a is proportional to n raised to the power 2 by 3, okay. So it means this is the top speed, let me write it as v naught in fact. So from here you can see that v naught raised to the power 3 is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3. Everything else is a con constant basically. p naught is a fixed number, this constant k was constant, everything else is constant. So v naught raised to the power 3 is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 3, which means top speed v naught is proportional to n raised to the power 1 by 9 n raised to the power 1 by 9. So it simply means that under the assumption of the question, under the assumption of the question, we can safely say that increasing the number of boatmen will increase the top speed, but the effect is very small, n raised to the power 1 by 9. So if you just maybe increase couple of people, if there are 12 boatmen and you make it maybe 15 boatmen, the top speed is not going to increase much. It will increase, but it will not change much. So this is what we conclude at the end of this question. But this type of questions could be asked in JEE advance. They have been asked in erstwhile IIT JEE. If I could recall one question, it was something like uh, there is a fan uh, in a wind farm, uh, there is a fan which uses wind power to generate electricity. Wind is blowing at a speed V. Wind is blowing at a speed V. The power generated by this uh, machine, power generated by this machine will be proportional to which power of wind speed. Uh, some sort of this type of question had been asked previously. So if you put a gun on my head and ask me uh, in which chapter should this question be placed, then what should I say? Dimensional analysis? See you in the next video. Goodbye.